Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to use the fantastic isotope stutter edit to stutter your vocals. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Audition, and I'm going to show you a brief overview, tutorial, and review of Isotope's Stutter Edit. It's fantastic, and it's designed in general uh, for doors that handle MIDI interfaces. But don't worry, there is a way we can use it inside Adobe Audition, and I'm going to show you how right now. Here's a vocal. Bad DJs. Bad yeah. DJ. Bad DJs, indeed. <laughs> now, usually I could go into the multi-track. Let's do that now, and uh, create a new session here with Bad DJ. And, you know, I could do the regular stutter of copying and pasting randomly. <laughs> and then I'd also put some fade envelopes so it doesn't sound too processed. But, you know, that's a lot of work. With Isotope Stutter Edit, you can do all of this and more than you'd ever dream imaginable. Uh, imaginable? I'm not sure if that's a word, but uh, it is now. Uh, I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to go to this track, track two. And I'm going to be recording, not from the default stereo input, but on my audio interface, I've got a loop input, which records what you hear from the computer. Let me show you how it works. I play something, and then it records into track two. Arm track two for recording, record. Bad DJs. And you see it makes an exact copy there of bad DJs. Solo it. Bad DJs. Right, now I want to use Isotope Stutter Edit. This is important to have set up before you go. Now I'm going to go over to track one, and I'm going to go to the effects rack, and I'm going to implement this VST3 plugin from Isotope. Stutter edit. First time you load it up, it tells you it works differently than most audio effect plugins. It does require a MIDI input controller, you know, one of those keyboards, so you can start playing things. Uh, would you like a guide on how to set it up? It works with various doors. Um, but I'll say don't ask me again, and no, because there is a way you can just get started and get recording, and it's very easy to do. Lots of options here that can change. If you go into the preset manager and you want to start jamming away, you see it gives you a keyboard here. This is the best way to get started. Now I can record, hit a key here, and I will save that stutter. Have a listen. And we'll go again. So that's one recording, and you'll see it's recorded onto track two there, the track I armed to record and also to grab what I hear from the computer. Let's solo it. So as you can hear, I, I stuttered the, the D bit of DJs. So what I can do now is chop this out and pop this in the middle, and it's gonna sound quite different. Maybe underlay this underneath, that was a nice effect too. There we go. Maybe take that down in the mix. That's a overpowering. Bad e DJs. So you see, immediately you can have fun with vocals using Isotope Stutter Edit inside Adobe Audition. Uh, say I wanted to do another mix. Just move that over, make a copy over here. And I'm going to go back to the original vocal now. Uh, again, be ready to record. So arm this track to record over here. Uh, back into my Stutter Edit plugin there, and I'm going to get the preset manager up. And again, I can choose from any of these wonderful presets. You can also change uh, the banks of uh, different filters and effects you've got. Really what it's doing, you'll see over here, is it's stuttering parts of your audio in real time, doing all kinds of cool stuff, like adding low-pass filter, high-pass filters, bit reductions, crushing those bits to make it sound retro. Um, all kinds, of, it's just amazing the stuff this does. It even does uh, vinyl rewinds. Look, here's a, a flange vinyl stop. Let's have a listen to how that might sound. Bad. And we might need to replay that again just to get it in full. Bad. So you can hear a little bit of a, a vinyl remix there. Let's try again. Bad. Bad DJ. Let's play back. Bad DJ. So plenty you can be doing with the Stutter Edit plugin. Let's try again. Bad DJ. So as you can hear there, you are recording multiple options on the fly into your multi-track that you can use bad, bad DJs. to create a bad DJ's remix like this one. Bad e DJs.
Hey, you could probably do that all yourself if you wanted to spend hmm, maybe a couple of hours editing precisely and changing the harmonics. Uh, but with Stutter Edit from Isotope, it's really easy to do this uh, by going into the preset here, going to the preset manager and choosing your key on the uh, mock-up MIDI keyboard there uh, and recording it on the fly into a new track inside Adobe Audition, making sure it's just set up to record what you hear from your computer. Most decent audio interfaces will allow you to do this. Unfortunately, if you're using just the internal sound card, you might not have this ability. Um, so certainly look into an audio interface to do that. It's a paid plugin from Isotope. And if you enjoy it, head over to the link in the description to this video and give it a go for yourself.